What's up guys? I'm Aaron Radcliffe with Nomads Nation and we are on the hunt for the perfect backpack. Actually, today we're on the hunt for the perfect messenger bag because we're doing the ultimate nomadic messenger bag review. I've been carrying this bad boy around for the past three weeks and I've got a lot to say. These are all the things that we're gonna cover and I need you to pay attention because our reviews move really fast. Also, these reviews take us like four days each to make, so please, if you appreciate the hard work we're putting in, smash that like button. Let's go. Okay, so let's talk about the specs with the Nomadic Messenger bag. First up, color options. You only got one option, black. Nomadic knows who they're marketing to. This is business gear and business gear looks best in black. As much as I would love to see like a magenta nomadic messenger bag, but I get why they stick to just black. Next spec is the capacity. You only get one size. This guy is a pretty impressive 50 15 liters. For context, 15 liters is usually around the carrying capacity of a smaller backpack. But you need to keep this in mind. This is a lot bigger and wider than your typical messenger. This isn't your like little carry a laptop messenger bag. This is an everyday carry. It's an EDC and 15 liters is a great size for that. Next spec, let's talk about the weight. This dude is pretty heavy. The Nomadic messenger bag weighs in at almost four pounds. Now for some context, the Nomadic backpack is also four pounds. The Peak Design Messenger Bag, which we're gonna review later, is only 2.2 pounds. A lot of backpack nerds really freak out about weights. For me, when it comes to backpacks, a pound or two difference doesn't really bother me that much. But when it comes to a messenger bag, you really feel that extra pound or two. And the last spec is the price. The Nomadic Messenger Bag currently runs at 220 US dollars. Now, compared to other high quality messenger bags, this is sort of in the middle. You can pay a lot less, but if you're looking for a quality, brand name messenger bag, 220 is a pretty good price, especially considering all the features and quality materials that you're getting. Okay, let's chat about the style of the Nomadic Messenger bag. Now, the style of any bag is extremely important. It says something about you, like the type of person you are. And in my opinion, Nomadic are good at two things, functionality and style. The style of this pack is sort of an intersection between a briefcase and a messenger bag. That's why it's for business professionals. This is not a messenger bag for the aspiring artist who runs a food blog on the side. This is the kind of bag that you wear if you are at a tech company. Do you even code, bro? Or if you run like a drop shipping side business. Do you even drop ship, bro? I can't believe we're actually gonna get away with this. <laughs> Ultimately, this messenger bag is a lifestyle bag. It says, I'm cool, I'm techie, and I'm professional. It's like, I'm formal, but I'm also here to party. Let's go to the next spot, shake and bake. Okay guys, bring it in close. Now let's talk about the materials of the Nomatic messenger bag. And with materials, it's not just, are the materials durable, it's, are the materials f***ing awesome? And for the Nomadic Messenger Bag and most Nomadic products, the answer to that question is yes. Great materials. All right, first up, let's take a look at the exterior material. This bad boy is tarpaulin. Tarpaulin is common in the backpack world. Wandered uses tarpaulin a lot. Air uses tarpaulin sometimes on some of the newer packs. Tarpaulin is great. But there's two things to know about this tarpaulin. Part one, first off, it's really durable in terms of its water resistance, but it's not very durable with its scratch resistance. For example, I have the Nomadic backpack. It uses the same exterior materials. I accidentally grazed against the edge of a table. It slashed it, and that slash is permanent. So that's something to keep in mind. Next up, interior materials. If you've watched my reviews, you know that I'm a huge fan of interior materials. I'm kind of an interior materials nerd, and the Nomadic interior materials are quite good. They're not the best, they're not the worst, but we'll talk about them a bit more in the future sections. Hold your horses. Next up, we got these zips right here. Now, what's strange about Nomadic is that they don't use YKK zippers. Usually backpacks in this price range use YKK, Nomadic doesn't. These zippers are pretty good. They get a little snaggy sometimes, that's on the bad side, but on the good side, they're durable and they're PU coated. You can see this lining right here, which means they're also waterproof slash water resistant slash your stuff is gonna stay dry. And the last material to talk about is the actual hardware. We've got some custom hardware, 
hardware, we've got some Fidlock hardware. If you don't know, Fidlock makes the best magnetic hardware for backpacks on the planet. We'll talk about that a little bit further in the review as well, but just know that all the hardware is solid. Sweat like a already. Like a pig on Christmas. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Don't get too close. My life. All right, let's go. Let's talk about the comfort of the Nomadic Messenger bag. First off, if there was a large area of criticism for this messenger, it would be with the comfort. In fact, to put it bluntly, I kind of find this messenger to be uncomfortable. I'm not saying it's painful. I'm just not saying it's like the comfiest thing I've ever worn in my life. But you got to take that with a grain of salt. Compared to backpacks, messengers just flat out are not going to be as comfortable. Messengers are large, they're a bit awkward, and they only have one strap compared to a backpack, which has two, right? Is my math right? But having said that, you're not getting a messenger bag for the comfort. You're getting a messenger bag for the lifestyle, for the vibe. You want to brand yourself. But I will say, compared to other messenger bags that I've tried out, this is definitely still on the uncomfortable side. The reason for that is the whole like messenger bag briefcase fusion. This has kind of got like a boxy structure to it. So while it looks dope as f the shape sort of makes it big, boxy, and a bit awkward. So with the Nomadic Messenger bag, there's three ways to carry it. Position number one, what you're seeing before you now, I call it the Briefinger. You're going half messenger, half briefcase. You can kind of grab this on here, take a little pressure off the shoulder, or just let it slide, and then boom, you're in like half messenger mode. Position number two, the full brief. The full brief is actually pretty comfy. We'll talk about the handle a bit later, but it usually works pretty well. And position number three is my least favorite, the messenger. This is when the bag is at its boxiest, its awkwardest, and it's, it's least comfortable. Like I said, out of all the ways to carry it, this is my favorite. Okay, now let's chat about the front of the Nomadic Messenger bag. First up, the logo. Nice branding. It looks businessy without being too loud. I'm a fan. Gray was a bad choice. But really, the front is dominated by two things. It's these two quick access pockets. Let's go inside. <laughs> says that. Let's get into the large quick access pocket. <laughs> I love this pocket. This is one of my favorite parts about not only the Nomadic Messenger bag, but all Nomadic products. The Nomadic backpack has this pocket, the Nomadic travel pack has this pocket, and it's designed for next level organization and functionality. Let's examine. We got a little pocket right here, which actually runs pretty deep. I throw a tote in there. Next up, we got two zip pockets here. This one is RFID safe. Tab, can you explain what RFID safe means? All right, oh. let's take this camera. You know you have a credit card, right? Uh, one of those tap and code things, you know, you just go beep and then you <laughs> RFID is like a technology that's in those cards, like a chip, you know, an octopus card, whatever, you scan and go. Uh, thing is, a high-end phone has NFC, and you can just download an app that allows you to read credit cards, and your credit card's not even encrypted, so basically, if I take my phone, and I get close enough to your bag, I can steal your credit card details, and all it says is value customer and then credit card number. So, just like this, Damn useful. That's what we call tech time with Tav. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, whatever he said, this pocket basically keeps your credit cards and your passport safe. This is a good spot for a wallet. Keep your passport and your credit cards in there. Here we have like a document sort of pocket. I use this as like a throw all. I got some nuts in there, backup masks, a notebook, one of my many notebooks, more masks, just kind of a place where I just throw shit. Next up, we got these four elastic pockets. Two on the bottom, two on the top. The bottom ones run a little bit deeper, the top ones are a bit smaller. I love these pockets. Great for organization, great for quick access. The whole point is like you're walking around, you know, and you just wanna unzip this and grab the things that you need and they're quick and accessible and secure. I got some mints, I got my hand sanitizer, my little e-cig setup, napkins, more e-cig stuff. It's good for tech stuff, like headphones or a battery. Health stuff, like napkins, Ninja stuff, throwing stars. The options are endless. And then finally, we got these two pen holders right here. Love these guys mostly because of their quick access. Think about it, you're in a meeting, you wanna jot something down real fast, you just go ahead, unzip these, grab your pen, grab your paper, ba 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 You're like, mmm, indeed, Johnson, that's a fine point. And then you just go ahead, pop your pen away, zip it, back up. Good to go. Next, let's head a little bit further north where we got the smaller quick access pocket. 
This one is made with a really nice material and it's a scratch free material. That's why this pocket is perfect for things like your cell phone or your sunglasses. But it's sunny out, so I'm gonna keep these on. One other thing I love about this pocket is you got a cord pass-through holder. This means that I can have a portable battery on the inside of the bag, I can pass the cord through, and I can keep my phone in here and charge it simultaneously. Super cool. Okay, so now let's chat about the middle of the Nomadic Messenger bag, and I want you to pay attention because this is easily the most important section. Okay, let's chat about the sides. Now, both sides are the same. You got the water bottle holder, and the strap. These water bottle holders are quite controversial. On one aspect, people like the fact that they're magnetic because magnets are a blast. When it's closed, the magnets help ensure the bag keeps a nice, sleek, and sexy look. But on the flip side, when you actually have a water bottle in here, this is the controversy. Some people think it looks like absolute horse shit. Where I, and I, I can see where they're kind of coming from. Ultimately, I like the water bottle holders. For reference, this is a 530 milliliter water bottle and I would not recommend going much bigger than this because even right now, this is a pretty tight fit. Let's move up and talk about this strap. Remember I talked about magnets earlier? It's magnet time, baby. <laughs> These straps are connected by Fidlock magnets and to disconnect them, all you do is pull them out like that and we're good. Disconnecting is easy and reconnecting is a joy. I love this, wait for it, boom! And it's super secure. And if you're like a business person, you can totally use this to your advantage for like a dramatic business speech. 50% of the time it works, every time. All right, moving up uh, on the strap. Now we got this little metal uh, buckle thing. I quite like the hardware, feels nice, it feels quality. Um, it can get, here, let me show you how it works. This is meant to help you tighten and loosen the strap. So you're just right here and you're like, oh, it's a little too tight, I'm gonna loosen this a little bit. You do one of those and you're good. Loosening is never a problem. Tightening it though is a little bit more difficult. You wanna kinda like nah, do one of those. It definitely requires a little bit extra bicep. While this can be a little on the sticky side, I still think it's a pretty cool tool. Now let's talk about this shoulder strap pad. It looks good in that it's sleek and it's not too bulky, but it's really not that comfortable. Which is kind of shocking because you would expect a shoulder strap to kind of provide an additional sense of padding and comfort. And I think that this one fails pretty miserably it's definitely a contributing factor to this messenger not being the most comfortable carrying experience. But on the bright side, you can adjust it. This thing moves, so you can go ahead and put it down this way or this way, so that feature is very helpful. I just wish that it had a bit more padding. All right, strap is done. Let's talk about this top handle. This handle is actually pretty good. I love it aesthetically. I think the comfort's okay. You know, there's not a lot of padding to it, but having carried it often in briefcase mode just with this, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty comfortable. It actually looks less comfortable than it actually actually is. Now, for the most important part, let's jump into the main compartment. We've got the zipper access that runs along both sides, and here we have the main compartment. Here you can see the cord pass-through holder that gives you access to the quick access pocket on the other side. Here we have an elastic pocket. I use this for a notebook, but this could be good for like tech stuff, or if you want to keep your battery in there to use it for the cord pass-through holder. These materials are really nice, a little elasticy, a silkiness, they're, they're good. I mean, they're no boundary supply errand or Tortuga outbreaker, am I right? I'm so, I can't even believe how much of a backpack nerd I am these days, it's disgusting. Let's move on to this side. We have two side elastic pockets. This one longer, this one shorter. The longer one comes with this glasses case. Yes, Nomadic includes this with all your packs. I think it's very thoughtful and it provides additional functionality because we all have glasses, whether it's sunglasses or whether you got reading glasses. I like that Nomadic added this. Sure, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just like a cheap plastic little box, but it's gonna keep your glasses protected. On the other side, we have a key ring leash, which is retract, nailed it. Kobe. Now, if you've been watching my reviews recently, you know that I am growing increasingly obsessed with the placement of the key ring solution. I use my key two, three, four times a day, and I want it in the easiest to access location as humanly possible, which is why I love what Nomadic has done here. Now, they have a similar solution on the Nomadic backpack and the Nomadic travel pack, but I don't like it as much because the access isn't quite as seamless. But this, in contrast, is extremely accessible. Seriously though, retractable key leashes are the 
it, dude. It's so easy to use and you're not gonna lose your keys. And you can also uh, use this as a weapon in case you need to uh, garrot somebody. What you do is you sneak up behind someone and you just... <laughs> I rewatched The Godfather the other day and I'm just... Now the last part of the middle section Let's talk about this back panel. I'm about to blow your mind with some magic. Abra Kazam. This thing's removable. Now, when you get your Nomadic Messenger bag, you're gonna have two options. You're gonna have what I call the elastic pocket option, or you have the cubby option. I prefer the elastic pocket, but let me show you the cubby first. So what you do is you have this guy, put these into place. Go ahead and pop that in there. This is an ideal setup if you have a lot of bulkier tech gear. If you're traveling with a camera, it's a perfect spot for a DSLR. And if you've got like, you know, lots of chargers and a big ass Bluetooth mouse and you know, a whole bunch of like stuff that you wanna organize and keep protected, that's what this is good for. I do think that it looks kind of cheap. I don't love the aesthetic of it, but it's quite functional. But like I said, I prefer the other panel, the elastic pockets. I think it looks nicer. It looks neat. It gives you a bit of extra room here if you want to pack some clothes, a t-shirt, whatever it might be. I use these pockets for my Bluetooth mouse, wrist pad, computer charger, and then here I have a portable battery and I have no purpose for you right now. You also can use this for things like notebooks, documents, um, and maybe a laptop or a tablet, but I wouldn't recommend putting your laptop in there because it's better in the back. They're turning up the Canto Pop here. It's 100% English, this is not Canto Pop. We're gonna relocate to that building over there. You see that building? That's the ICC. Fun fact, used to be the third tallest building in the world. Let's go head over there and we'll talk about the back of the Nomadic Messenger. See you there. Okay, now let's talk about the back of the Nomadic Messenger bag. And it's really important because this is what we're gonna talk about some comfort points, but also the safety of your laptop and tablet. Let's start with the tech compartment. We got these zips right here, waterproof, nice easy access. Boom. This is TSA friendly, so in theory, you don't have to take your laptop out, but I will say it depends on the agent. Sometimes they are not in a great mood and they're gonna make you take it out regardless, so keep that in mind. Here we have a little documents pocket. Um, I like to keep that for my Bluetooth keyboard, but it could be a good spot for a notebook. I'm always just wondering where I can put my notebooks. Like, oh, that's nice, a notebook can go there. And look at two more notebook compartments, but actually this is your laptop compartment and your tablet compartment. The laptop compartment is big enough for a 15 inch MacBook Pro. It's nice and tight, so your laptop feels super secure. And then here we have a tablet compartment. That's big enough for a 13 inch tablet. Same things, nice materials, really tight, really secure. Closing this guy. Here, we have a luggage pass-through hole. Okay, so if you're like one of those luggage people, you know, you got like your luggage, and you got like your messenger, you wanna go pop that on, you can do so and seamlessly travel with both. And then finally, we have this extra padding on this back panel. While it looks nice and you're like, whoa, that probably helps bear the brunt of it, it, it doesn't really help that much. I'm sure it's better with it than without it, but overall, it's not noticeable to me, and I still think that the comfort of this thing is average at best. All right, so we tore this messenger bag apart. Let's talk about the overall pros and the overall cons of the Nomadic Messenger bag. Pro number one. It's a pretty badass fusion of a messenger bag and a briefcase. Pro number two is gonna be its sleek and professional look. Pro number three is going to be the next level features and organization. And pro number four is that it's large enough to be an everyday carry. But this backpack is not for everyone. Here's the cons. Con number one is that it's not that comfortable and it's kind of awkward to carry. Most messengers are, but I think this one is particularly so. And con number two is that the price at 220 US dollars might be a little too steep for some. So all the pros and all the cons taken into consideration, we at Nomads Nation give the Nomadic Messenger Bag an overall score of four out of five. It's definitely not the most comfortable messenger bag, but it's easily one of the coolest and most functional messenger bags. Okay, now let's talk about who the Nomadic Messenger Bag is perfect for and who can pass. This bag is perfect for you if you're looking for a sleek, 
professional messenger bag. This is the messenger bag for you if you want a bag that has a ton of functionality. And this is also the bag for you if you need a professional bag, but a briefcase is a bit too small. If that sounds like you, please use the links below and make sure you get the lowest price and it helps support our channel. But this is not the messenger for everyone. Let's talk about who this pack's not for. This pack is not for you if you're looking for a messenger and you prioritize comfort over functionality. Frankly, there are other messengers on the market. They might not be as sleek, but they will be comfier. If that sounds like you, please check the links below. This messenger is also not for you if you're looking for like a sleeker, smaller business messenger bag. This thing's a bit big. If you're looking for something slimmer, check the links below. I got some awesome recommendations down there. The Nomadic Messenger Bag is also not for you if you can swing a backpack. If you're debating switching from a backpack to a messenger, I'd really think about it because a messenger is not gonna be as functional and it's not gonna be as comfortable. If you're in the market for a business, awesome, sleek backpack, check the links below. Holy Do you see the sweat? Do you see? I need to go take an ice bath. We are done here. Guys, if you enjoyed the review, please subscribe, hit the like button, share, and always, if you're gonna make a purchase, please use our links. That's all. We'll see you next time. Peace.